after the COVID-19 pandemic, now the new pandemic we are dealing with is the pandemic of lies. Yeah. It is it's, it's the pandemic of lies. Former Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi has accused President William Ruto of making unrealistic promises to Kenyans, which he has failed to fulfill. Speaking last week, Matiangi said that Ruto was known for making empty promises that he could not fulfill. Ruto is a master of lies and deception, Matiangi said. He has been promising Kenyans heaven on earth, but he knows very well that he cannot deliver on those promises. Before we can get deeper, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and turn on notifications. Leave a comment for us. What do you think? Can you elect Matiangi if he will be on the ballot paper as president 2027? Thank you for turning in. Guys, let's get deep. You know, pe people stand up and they say things that they think make sense. You know, I've been looking at politicians and fortunately I have the opportunity of having served in cabinet. I know how a budget is drawn and I know how much money we have in our resources to draw a budget. When a political leader, a national leader, tells people, I will put aside 150 billion for market women, I'll put aside 50 billion for Boda Boda, I'll put aside 100 billion for this, I know how much our budget is and the projected growth of our budget. That time you have not talked about the amount of money that you are taking to counties, you have not talked about transfers for the education sector and so on. Where are you going to get that money to provide that kind of service? You're just lying to those people because you are telling them things they want to hear. And because they won't ask you questions, you just get along with it. When you tell people about there being a... Who is that? What is that deep state? The Inspector General who sit here? We have passed a constitution that requires us. It's in black and white. You know, even me, if I have to give directions to the Inspector General, the law requires that I put it in writing. And since I became Minister for Interior, I told the nation the other day, I've written two such letters, one to Boynet and one to him to provide policy guidance, and even before I send it, I ask the Attorney General, does it pass master? The, <laughs> the Attorney General says, under the law, you can't do this. So, stop here, let us proceed. Now, how can you turn around in a country of the amount of freedom that we have? Nairobi, for your record, Bishop, Nairobi houses the largest number of foreign correspondents and media houses on this continent. I've challenged people, if you don't think there's freedom in Nairobi, go and report from Addis. Yeah. With all this freedom we have, in a country where the president is insulted liberally by everybody, by opposition politicians, how will you tell me that there exists a covert, dark op element of government that is intended to do certain things? When did you last face and scrutinize and excoriate the Minister for Security? I am here to answer questions. Which is this dark side that exists? Where is it? <laughs> don't, don't, don't be drawn. I'm telling you, don't be drawn to some of this. You see, we are unfortunate that we have a brand of leaders. I told you earlier that the narrative we need to be discussing about the future of our country is how we handle corruption and how we create an integrity system of managing our country so that the resources God has given us can benefit our children and our children's children. Now, instead of having that uh, conversation, the artists, the political artists, who want to avoid that conversation, they come up with all manner of excuses. Matiangi cited Ruto's promise to create four million jobs in his first year in office as an example of his unrealistic promises. Where was he going to get those jobs from? Matiangi asked. The economy is not growing at a rate that can support the creation of 4 million jobs in one year. Matiangi also accused Ruto of promising to reduce the cost of living, but said that the president Ruto had no plan for how he would do this. He just says that he will reduce the cost of living, but he doesn't tell us how he will do it. Matiangi said, It's all just talk and no substance. Matiangi urged Kenyans not to be fooled by Ruto's... Forget about this. We run an open, transparent, 
accountable government, our president, my boss, is probably one of the most liberal and open-minded heads of state on this continent. We are a responsive government. I am not aware. Tell me what you want to know about this government and where you want to go, I take you there. Do you want to go and sit in MC3 in Mutiambai's office and watch the patrol thing? And so on. When you ask questions, we will answer. But you see, to create campaign jargon, you know, this, this story of you must look for a way of creating some level of sympathy so that people can sympathize with you, that you, you are an underdog. So you create some phantom, some fictitious devils <laughs> that are existent somewhere that are against you. And these devils are not described. So you use some communist type language and call them deep state and say, you know, these people, they may be having the state, but we have God. God is for all of us. You can't have God yourself. <laughs> so, Bishop, forget about this thing, my brother. Let's just go forward and build our country. This doesn't exist. Secondary. Secondary. And that's why I say thank you for asking me this question, because I never, never get this opportunity to respond to these things. <laughs> so I tell you what I think. I mean, if I wasn't before religious be, uh, leaders, I would have even used a stronger language. <laughs> because this is petty, it's empty, there's nothing, it's hollow. People are just loitering around saying things that don't exist. Let them deal with issues. You know, I keep telling people, these elections are like an interview. You leaders have conducted interviews before, haven't you? Yes. So when I come before you, you tell me, eh, Fred, good, you want this job, yes. Where have you been? I tell you, I was headmaster there, I was this. They ask, you ask me, what did you do when you were there? How did you handle the students? What did happen? And so on. People are running around here who have held public responsibilities. They are not accounting for what they did when they were holding those public responsibilities. You are the religious leaders. The story of talent is in the New Testament. What did you do with the ones I gave you first before you come for more? <laughs> now, now, yeah. Now they are lying. Yeah. They are moving around and saying, oh, you know me, as you know, please sympathize with me. There is a certain dark group of people called Deep Step who hate me. They don't like me. They don't want me to be a leader. They plot evil against me. You drive public money in that state. You eat food bought by that public state that you are condemning. You, you live in a house of that state. When does it become deep and deeper than you? Promises. Saying that the president was only interested in getting into power. Ruto is a dangerous man, Matyangi said. He will say anything to get into power, but he has no plan for how he will improve the lives of Kenyans. Ruto has not yet responded to Matyangi's accusations. We have come to an end of this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Like this video and turn on notifications. Leave a comment for us. What do you think? Can you elect Matiangi if he will be on the ballot paper as president 2027? Thank you for watching. Let's meet in our next video. Good luck.